version 5.3 of the Firebase Web SDK came out a couple weeks ago, and it includes a cool new feature to query documents based on an array value. This means you can get all of the documents that have an array field that contain a certain value in that array. This video is going to be a lot shorter than most of the content you'll find on my channel, but if you like this format, please leave me a comment below because I'm considering adding a couple extra videos to the channel per week that are just a couple minutes long that cover really focused topics like this one here. Alright, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the code. I'm here in an empty directory, and I have Firebase Tools installed, and I'll initialize a new project by running Firebase init. And then we'll set up Firestore as well as hosting. And if you already have a Firebase project, you can just skip this step completely, but make sure you have version 5.3 or greater of the SDK installed. At this point, I can just run Firebase Serve in my project, and we should get this initial splash page. The next thing I'll do is take out the default JavaScript that's provided by Firebase, and we'll just replace this with our own app.js file. Now that we have our web app set up, we can start writing the actual code. The first thing we'll want to do is make a reference to Firestore. Then we also need to update our Firestore settings to avoid an error in the console, which is just setting the timestamps and snapshots to true. Then I have some existing data in my database, which is in the carts collection. You can imagine this as a shopping cart in an e-commerce application, but let's jump to the Firebase console to see what it looks like. Each cart has an items field, which is an array of different string values. So right now you can see that carts A and B both have bananas in them. Let's go ahead and add a third cart that also contains bananas, but some additional values as well. And our goal is to be able to query these documents based on the shared values in this items array. To handle this, we can actually just use the where clause, but it now has an additional operator that we can use specifically for arrays. So we'll say collection where the items array, array contains whatever value we want to search by. So this is different than the normal conditional operators that you might use, such as equals or greater than or equal to. A caveat with this method is that you can only use it once. It's not currently possible to chain together multiple array contains clauses in a single query. The final step is to get the data from this query, and then we'll go ahead and map that promise down to the actual raw data as well as the document ID. For each document that's returned in the query, we'll go ahead and just console log it to the browser. With that done, let's go into the browser and make sure that this actually works. The LaCroix value is currently only contained in cart A and cart C, so we should only get those two documents back. When we run the query, you can see that that's exactly what we get back in the browser console. If we change the value to bananas, we should get all three documents back. And as expected, that's exactly what happens. Overall, this is a really nice feature to have, because in the past what I found myself doing is mapping arrays to an object just so I could query them in Firestore. But this array contains operator should eliminate the need to do that in most cases. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up there. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more short videos like this, don't forget to leave me a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.